Gaming Gamer here, and well, there is new end game content now. Imaginarium Theater. So, of course, I am going to be attempting Imaginarium Theater since it is a new end game content. Um, for the first time, though, I will be doing the uh, footage raw. So basically, you're going to hear me talk over this. So yeah, is this is going to be my first impressions, just like Genius Invocation TCG. Um, I did my first impressions on that. So this is going to be my first impressions on the new endgame content. So yeah, um, it took us over three years to get at least some endgame content because the only endgame content that we have is Spiral Abyss. So um, thankfully though, we will get some new endgame content, which is Imaginarium Theater. So um, I did check out the info though. Um, so basically it is just a series of battles that you have to do. Um, like eight battles basically, and then um, you can only use certain characters uh, certain times, so yeah. Well, anyways, uh, well, story time. Hmm, doesn't quite feel like it though. You don't think this place is hiding some terrible secret, do you? Like those rooms you always hear about in scary stories, you know, the ones that are usually totally off limits. That's true, we just kind of waltzed in here. And it didn't seem like the lock had been broken or anything. Wait, hang on a minute. This isn't the door we came in through. Are we even in the library anymore? And what world would that be, huh? Hmm, too bad Lisa's not working today, otherwise we could ask her. Well, we're here anyhow, and this place doesn't look too dangerous. Why don't we just take a look around? New places are meant for exploring, after all. You gotta try all kinds of new things to become a good and experienced guide. Ooh, look, a stuffed wolf toy! So cute! It's so fluffy and soft. Huh. I wonder who left it here. Oh, foolish traveler, you dare enter this fortress of doom without invitation? Prepare to be eaten alive! We should probably just leave it here for now. This place is huge, so let's keep on exploring! Alright, we got some free rain! Okay. You can use... Okay. To start the challenge. So it just basically tells you how it works. So basically, um, as I said before, you have, you have a series of eight challenges that you have to do. And you can only use certain characters um, twice. So yeah. So basically, you gotta keep watch on how you use your characters. So yeah. And you can also use trial characters and your own characters. So, well anyways, I'm gonna be collecting all the books here. Because I, I got to. Um, there's a book here. Yeah, I gotta collect these for the, um, the archive. There we go. Let's collect all these books. Three books, three books. Alright, I think that's all of them. Oh, not for mind. There's a book here. A book. Book. Oh, never mind. That is not a book. I think that should be it, though. Oh, you could draw fortune slips. Okay. I guess I'll draw a fortune slip um, after I collect all these books. Alright, there we go. We collected all the books. Alright, let's draw a fortune slip, because why not? Oh, I guess... You just, oh, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> and amongst the darkness of the trees, soft patches of white could be seen weaving between the shadows. With unfaltering trust, I followed the fox around and about, soon emerging from the dark forest in a seemingly faraway land. There in the moonlight, a sea of dandelions lay before me, stretching as far as the eye could see. The fox and the dandelion see four. Okay. Everyone has moments where they feel trapped by doubt. Believe in your heart and where it leads you and go forth even amidst uncertainty. Someday you too will become like a dandelion, unfettered, floating and flying free towards your distant dream. The path to the future is not paved with only tears and moonlight. So it's just basically just a random fortune teller thing. Okay, interesting. 
Alright, we're gonna be going to the Imaginarium Theater. Alright, here we go. So, okay, so these are the characters that we can use. Only Pyro, Electron, Animal characters, as well as special guest stars, may perform in this season's show. Okay. Um... So this is just... Oh, past performances. So yeah, so it can record their past, um, runs. Um, reward preview. So this is going to be our reward. So the debut performance gift is basically you beating the, um, things for the first time. So clearing, uh, eight acts, basically. So yeah, um, of course it all ramps up in difficulty. And of course, um, completing it, of course, gives you more rewards too. So this is definitely worth it, um, to do. Um, performance prep. So this is going to, um, alright, so... Of course, we're gonna be doing the hard mode. Um, so we basically have to just do this, so it tells you, uh, what to do. So easy mode is just three, normal mode is just six, and then hard mode is eight. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um, of course, we're going to be going for, um... The others so okay it looks like we can use um our supporting cast here okay so can assist friends in their performances oh and up to seven characters can be set so basically we can use uh or we can lend our characters to other people which is pretty cool so if you do have um a lot of whale friends you can take advantage of this uh friend system okay all right um I am going to be using- I am going to be bringing out my best of the best characters. So, um, I will just put out- uh, let's see here. Let's put, um, what are my really good characters? I guess I'll just put out, uh, Navia. Right, I'll put Hutel, Navia, Raiden, of course. I use Raiden a lot. Nahida, um, Farina, um, Kokomi, because my Kokomi has been- really well built and then my last character mm, my last character could be anyone really uh let's do nouvellette yeah there we go <laughs> so if you guys are my friends you can just use that well anyways we're gonna be doing um performances of course let's do a party setup okay um so it looks like we can use our uh, trial characters here um yeah so this is going to be our main lineup here uh, these are my characters only. Okay, so yeah, we can modify our equipment, but I did build everyone here. As you see here, I already have artifact sets ready for them. We already have all our stats ready for them too. As you see there, crit, crit, crit damage. EM for Toma, he has high HP, high ER. And for Arlen Kino, of course, she is my main DPS. And of course, I am going to be using um, Chlorand for some of these too. So yeah. Well, anyways, let's get started. Okay. Um, let's go next. Okay. So it looks like we can use alternative uh, characters. Um, looks like no one, no one has Siegeween. Oh yeah. Uh, basically, we have to own the characters in order to use them. So yeah. Well, anyways, there's a special guest star right here, which is our, which is Baiju. But I'm pretty sure I have my own Baiju, but I can use this guy. Um, hmm, the primary, okay, so we can use an alternative cast for these, uh, characters. So, of course, I'm gonna be probably, um, can be added to the support cast. Alright, so yeah, lo it looks like we can use, um, our, uh, friends. Uh, let's see here. Is this Hal Hatham built? Okay, his Al Hatham's built. Um, we can't just use his Alhatham or his Sino, but I don't know. Um, no, I'm just going to be using my own characters. Okay. Uh, just to basically, um, <laughs> just to basically not, uh, just to handicap myself, basically. All right. So this is my supporting cast. So we're going to be doing Raiden, Raiden Hu Tao, um, Kazuha, of course, we got to bring him. Um, we got we have to probably bring our best of the best characters. Um Okay. Zhongling, Bennett, of course, we gotta bring them. Fischl's really good. Um, Shang Yun. 
uh, if we're gonna bring Shang Yun though, we are gonna bring um, we are gonna bring Gaming, uh, Gaming, uh, Chevres, uh, for Overload teams. Um, we could just go. Oh, but I don't know if we need a crowd controller though. Uh, we only have three slots left. Yoimiya, because I already have her fully built, so we can't just use Yoimiya. Yoimiya, um, there's no Yaimiko. We can't choose. Oh, no, there she is, Yaimiko. And the last character. Hmm. Uh. Okay, so it's either Jean or Sucrose. Uh. Actually, we can just get rid of some of these characters. Let's just get rid of these two. Uh, let's put Sucrose Jean, because the, the, those two are really, really good. Uh, and then let's go... I, mean, I don't know if we need a crowd controller. I guess... You know what? I'll, I'll do a crowd controller. Let's do Venti. Alright. All right, so these are going to be our alternative cast uh, members right here. Okay. Yeah, this, is, this looks really good. So we basically have around maybe... Actually... Uh, we need healers, actually. Um, we have three. I think, I think we could get away with three. Uh, because we can't just use the first two as, like, maybe, like, fodder-ish, uh, like, fodder-ish floors, I guess. Um, and we do have Shinobu, who is also a healer. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. All right. So it looks like we can't choose a buff here, which is interesting. Okay, so this is Act 1. Uh, we can uh, do normal battles, uh, mystery... Oh, and a random companion. We can... So basically, um, we do have flowers we can spend. Um, but I, I'm gonna go for normal battle. Because I'm pretty sure we don't need a time limit. Oh, never mind, we do. Okay, so... We have to beat these opponents in 90 seconds. Okay, interesting, interesting. All right, 90 seconds. And it's four robots? Four. Okay, I think we could do this in 90, 90 seconds. Um, confirm your selection to lock in current event. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. As the challenge proceeds, you can use Restart Performance to change your party setup and try to challenge again. The composition of your party setup is key to completing to your performance. Okay, interesting. Each character who takes part in the performance will start with two... Okay. Uh, combat event, they will use... Okay, so it's, ju it's just their stamina. Okay. Alright. Okay, so it looks like we can begin our performance. Um... I don't know if we should use our Shinobu yet. Um, but it, it does look like we're forced to use her, though. Um, up here, okay, what's the stage effect? Thunder will strike your characters. Oh, that sucks. Um, we can't use, you, we can't use Arlen Kino yet. No way, we're gonna be using Arlo first. Okay, we're gonna be going for, hmm. This is tough. Okay. Okay, we need like mega a bajillion damage. So we're gonna be going for. Let's see here. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do that. I think I think this is gonna be good. This is a good team. I think we're gonna be going for this team. Alright. This is going to be putting my Chloran skills to the test. So let's see. Let's see what I could do here. Because I, I think I think doing the um, the other things is just uh, for bragging rights, really. Okay. Let's do some E's here. Because um, Chloran can just spam E. That's a good burst right there. Alright. Uh, let's do Shinobu, let's do a burst, let's do burst again, let's do E. Alright, so we're good on time, it looks like. Um, of course we're gonna be press spamming E, use Q right there, kablam. 
All right. Faru. Let's do a uh, Shinobu burst. Because why not? All right. All right. We're going to be mixing in normal attacks with um, E. All right. That's good. All right. This is our last enemy. I think we're good here. We got the, we got the star for this challenge. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. That was, that was pretty easy. I'll defeat an opponent using a charge attack. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I have to do that then. Um, I'm pretty sure it tells me that I completed it though. So, um, let's see here. Oh, never mind. It looks like I did it. Okay. So I do have to, uh, use a charge attack. Okay. So I guess I'll just do that then. Sure. Sure. I'll use a charge attack to defeat an enemy. Alright. Yeah, it looks like I have to read more um, to understand. Alright, let's do a burst. Alright. We can. I guess I'll do Shinobu charge attack. Actually, yeah, I'll do Koran. I think Koran's gonna be easier. Okay, that that did not count. That's weird. I think I think with Arlen Kino it's gonna be easier though. With uh with Chlorand it's kind of hard to do a uh, charge attack with her. All right. Um. Okay, I guess we just have to pray and hope that all of these charge attacks land. Okay. Okay, let's do. Okay, never mind. I guess that didn't count. Yeah, this is so weird to just do- try to do this challenge. Okay, let's do Toma. Let's do Chloran. Okay, that- that counted! That counted! Okay, that- that's good. N now we can just defeat this guy. There we go! Okay, we did it! We got all of them! We got all of them! Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's- let's go next. Okay, it looks like we added Hu Tao to our, um, thing. Pretty good. Alright, that's the first one. Nice, nice, nice. Oh! Oh no! Sorry! Guests, hello! I've been waiting here for the longest time and nobody came. I was only planning to rest my eyes for a bit, but the sofa was so comfy, uh, I guess I dozed off. Sure can! Talking is one of the things I can do! Alright, so... Ah, yes! Introductions are in order, aren't they? Greetings, my dear guests! My name is... Uh... Wait... What's my name? Uh, not sure we can help you with that one, buddy! Guess you were in a pretty deep sleep, huh? Seems like you're still waking up! Huh? Really? Just messing with you. <laughs> anyway, Paimon's name is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Okay, great, that went well. At least this mysterious room doesn't rob everyone of their memories. I must apologize. I must have slept for so long that I can't remember what's real and what's a dream anymore. I did have a lot of dreams while I was asleep. Okay, concentrate. Uh, all right, so... If I'm not mistaken, the current me is a concierge in charge of attending to any guests that find themselves here. Ah, yes, you may call me Wolfie. Okay, but, um, if all you can remember are your dreams, what makes you think any of them are real experiences? They're just products of your imagination, right? You mean, if it comes from my imagination, it can't be real life? Huh. Well... It sounds like you know more about that kind of thing than I do. I can't tell the difference at all. I remember a time when a horrid curse was put on me. My heart was cased in unmelting ice, and I had to spend my days in agonizing solitude, surrounded by nothing but boundless tundra. I also remember playing with White Fang in the misty forest. We chased golden butterflies, waded through rushing streams, and shattered the very moon beneath our feet. And I'll never forget marching in that celebratory procession with the other troops, being showered in confetti as I excitedly waited for Her Majesty the Queen to bestow her honor upon me. Ah, <sighs> it was glorious! 
To me, all these events are indistinguishable from real experiences. Take my latest dream, for instance. I remember being in a garden of forking paths, and Madame Mage said to me, From now on, you are a concierge. Be sure to treat your guests well. Then I found myself here. And like I said, I waited, waited, and waited. And now, finally, two guests have arrived. At last, I can fulfill my duty. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? Mm, um, I think... Uh, uh, you know, screw it. Let's do it for the lore. So here you go, you guys. Yeah, and who is this Madame Mage? Is she really just a figure from your dream? Seems like there could be more to it than just that. Well, Madame Mage is Madame Mage. Just as you, dear guests, are guests. She and her friends, uh, oh yes, and they're all mages too. Uh, each one of them is a master of their own type of magic, conjuring, illusions, and so on. One of them uses a quill pen to cast her spells. She has a very mysterious ink bottle that contains fantasy truth. I had a little taste when she wasn't looking, and oh my goodness was it bitter. Blech. But the other mages all love her magic. They use their powers of creation to transform her fantasy truth into true fantasy. How do they do that? I haven't the slightest idea. I'm just a toy with stuffing for brains. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? Alright, time for the second about this room. Yeah, what is this place? We came in here through this one door in the library, but we were never able to open it before. Ah, well, congratulations on your successful entry, dear guests. This is a special room, one that can only be accessed by those who are invited. Seeing as you two have this privilege, you can invite your friends to enter as well. On that note, I'd better tidy up this place as quickly as possible. Oh, and I should prepare some tea and snacks too. You don't mind if they're on the sweeter side, do you? Of course not! Wait, before we get ahead of ourselves, mind telling us where we are exactly? Are we even still in Mondstadt? Hmm, that is a difficult question. Madame Mage created this room using magic, and I don't know magic. Still, you have my guarantee as concierge that this is a safe and comfortable place. I sincerely hope you enjoy your time here. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? Alright, the third lore. About that book and the battle we just fought. Yes, I saw! You were magnificent! I was completely enraptured by your performance! What do you mean, performance? Well, Madame Mage says that every page of a storybook is a segment of the present. I'm sure only the most distinguished of guests are able to take the stage as the story's protagonist and put on a show as spectacular as yours. What a thrilling battle! Yes, that's what every story needs to spice things up. Naturally, those are the kinds of stories I love reading the most. I wonder what would make a good title for a book about your magnificent performance. Should we call it a saga? An epic? A tale of conquest? A chronicle of combat? Ah, choices, choices. In any case, I do hope you will be so kind as to indulge us with more of your fine performances. In fact, scratch that. I'm afraid I shall have to insist. The story of the present is waiting to be written, and you, dear guests, are the ones to fill its pages. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? All right, I think that's all the lore, so I guess we can just continue on. This place is getting more confusing by the second, but Wolfie seems all right, so we should be fine, right? Besides, Our goal is to set foot in every corner of Tevat, and the courage to boldly go where others dare not to tread is what will take us there! Wow, what a wonderful line! Spoken like a true adventurer! You bet! We're the real deal! Is that so? Well then, I'd better make sure I do my duty as concierge of this place. I hope this can be somewhere for you to rest and recuperate when you're weary, so that you can embark on your next adventure refreshed and renewed. Come back here any time if you get tired. I'll be sure to take good care of you. Alright, I think that should be it, actually. 
Yeah, so it just tells us about the the rewards, the th okay, the challenges. Yeah, it's just all stuff we know. All right, so now we can just continue on. So um, I will be cutting um here, so that um, well because the footage has been pretty long, I'm gonna be cutting here so that um, I can record more footage for this. I am, of course, going to be going for all eight challenges. So I will be right back with a cut. So um, the cut starts now. All right, so we're back um, after that cut. So of course, we are going to be performing again for the Imaginarium Theater. So um, it looks like, of course, we can just um, pick out buffs. We can't just spend, but um we could just get more flowers here um what really matters at the end is um us just completing the uh yeah it's just us completing this so uh let's see here yeah it looks like we did uh all right so it looks like these are our enemies it won't be that bad um, for Ice Wind, I am going to be saving Arlen Kino for that specific boss fight. So, we basically only have one, basically one, um, use for her. And then the other use will just be, like, normal things. So, it looks like we can just choose our enemies here. Um, which enemies we will be fighting. Uh, let's go with... Elite Assault. Why not? So, it looks like we can defeat these in 100 seconds. And our opponents are the Frost... Arm Law Churl, the Hydro Hilly Churl, Rogue. Okay. Um, Star Challenge. We can't just go for the Star Challenge. Um, yeah, let's do that. That's 100 seconds. It's more than 90. So it looks like we can just uh, eke this out. Okay. So we don't have that much options here. So we probably have to go with this maybe yeah i think because i don't know if solo hu tao would be war yeah you know, we'll put shinobu in because why not i'm pretty sure you could start with three characters we're going to be saving these um these characters for later because they're just way too good uh trigger melt reaction yeah this is going to be easy with these characters right here okay um let's do this Oh, never mind. Looks like we do have to have four party members. Um, I don't think, cause it's not worth. I guess we can just, yeah, let's bring him, cause why not? We'll, we'll just have him as like a filler slot. Um, let's do Toma, uh, Wanderer, and Shinobu. All right. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do that. All right, now we're going to be doing a uh, hotel shenaniganery. Yeah, this is going to be way too easy. All right, let's do wander kick for the uh, reaction damage. Let's do hotel again. Let's do her main business as usual. All right, we're going to be triggering melt. So one, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, easy. All right, there we go. All right, let's do uh, Toma. Let's do some normals, cause why not? All right, let's do Q. There we go. All right, Shinobu. All right, it's going to be. There's one of them down. All right, and that's it. All right, easy as a pie. All right, we did it. Okay, let's go next. And we have Chevrus as our um, other party member, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's continue the performance, of course. All right, the climactic showdown. Okay. So, okay, so it looks like we can choose a, a companion that we can because like we don't have that many um characters on our lineup yeah look at that we already wasted all of them and we have chevrous on the team we are not bringing arlen kino <laughs> over here we're gonna we have to go for a pyro electro team so we have to bring at least at least one more character in 
So we are going to be, be bringing one of our two um, Electro characters. Because we do have a crap ton of flowers. Um, what is Wonder Spoon? I think it's just giving us buffs. So let's do... Um, yeah, let's do this. Four animal alternate cast members. Choose one of... Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, let's go for a random selection. Let's see what we get here. All right. Okay, we got Bennett. That's cool. We can take him. You want me on your team? Um, of course, we're going to be adding uh, more party members on our cast. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, we're going to be going for... Uh... Yeah, okay. So we have Chevra's uh, Bennett. Chevra's Bennett. And we need one Electro character, so we can just bring Chlorand. Um, and then uh, one random character. Okay, let's do, um, we need more main DPSs, actually. Let's go for, yeah, let's, let's go for, um, uh, yeah, let's go for that. Uh, one random Electro character? Don't mind if I do. We have a ton of flowers to spend. Yai, yeah, Miko. Well, Alright, there we go. Okay, um, alright, I think we're good. We're good, we're good. Let's go for a, uh, yeah, let's go for this. Alright. Confirm. Okay, so let's see what it is. Defeat the exhausted Jade Plume Terrorism after it activates. Activated state is finished. Activated. So we have to bring Electro characters and activate it. Okay, that's cool. Um, which means we can't hit it with Pyro characters. We have to make it do its uh, Electro thingy. Alright. We're going to be bringing an Overload team for this comp because we did ha have Chevrus on the pool. So we're going to be going... Um... Yeah, we're gonna be going Yoimiya, Chev. Okay, let's do Yaimiko. The third character doesn't really matter. Um, uh, I don't know if we should just bring Bennett. Because Bennett's just way too good. Um, but we're forced to bring... We're forced to bring an uh, Electro or Pyro character. So we're gonna be bringing... Uh, uh, Chlorand. Will Chlorand be used in anything? Because she's gonna be our... Are one of our only Electro DPSs on the team. Okay, we're gonna be saving her for later. Um, Hu Tao, I don't think... I don't think we need Hu Tao anymore because we already have Yoimiya. So let's put her on the team because why not? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, just have to defeat it in 80 seconds, it looks like. Okay. So we're gonna be activating him first, or at least trying to activate him. So let's just uh, do some normal attacks. Yeah, it looks like yeah we have to defeat an exhausted uh, enemy. So let's just uh, let's just give him a lot of uh, charge. All right, there we go. Okay. Let's do some normal attacks. Let's do some ease, and let's do uh, let's do Hu Tao. I don't think we're going to defeat him in time, though. So we're going to have to activate him one more time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no way. Yeah, I don't, no way. No way we're going to defeat him in time. Yeah, no. He's not exhausted anymore. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait a bit. I don't know if I could- no, I can't afford it. Uh, I'm gonna be losing the, the time limit. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to restart this because we, we need to defeat him with uh, with him being activated. We sh I should have brought an Electro DPS, honestly. But I think, we're, I think we can make do with this team. I think we can make do with this team. Um... Yeah, we're gonna be at, we gotta have to try this again. Let's do some normal attacks. We're gonna have to accelerate him as fast as possible. Because our, our goal here is to just get him activated, like, immediately. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's do Hu Tao. Let's get at least some of our damage in. Alright, let's do Q. Alright, let's do, um, yeah, let's do Yoimiya right here. Do some normal attack damage. Do as much damage as we can. 
So I think it'll give us just enough time. All right, and then let's do E. Okay, never mind. I guess it doesn't give us enough time. All right, I think I know what to do, actually. Um. All right, let's let's restart performance again. Okay. All right. If we're going to have to defeat this thing, um, we're gonna have to not bring Yoimiya. We're gonna have to bring Chlorand. Yeah, we are, we're gonna have to bring Chlorand for this. So we're gonna have two DPSs on the team. Okay, yeah, this is going to work. All right. Let's do this. Let's do, um, Chev. Let's do Hu Tao. All right. Now we're gonna have to do Chloran normals. Our overload damage in. There we go. Let's do Q. Alright, let's try to fuel her or let's try to fuel the Jade Plume Terra Shroom up. Alright, we got him fueled. Let's do uh, okay, so it's just gonna be doing its dash attack. Alright. Alright, Hu Tao, do your damage. Alright. Triple E. Glorand. I don't think this is gonna do enough though. Yeah, no way. Alright. We're gonna have to rely on Yaimiko to get him to his uh, charge level. Because I, I think Yaimiko's normal attacks don't. Oh, never mind. I guess. I guess we lost. Uh, we have to restart performance. Okay. I know this can be done. This can be done. Okay. Triple E. Chev. Hu Tao. Let's do Hu Tao. Let's get some of the damage in. All right, now let's do Chloran. Let's do Burst. All right, there we go. Um, all right. Yaimiko. Chev. Okay. Alright. Okay, I don't think he was activated though, which sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart this again. Holy crap, this is kinda hard! <laughs> especially if you're trying to go for flowers. Um, especially flowers. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to... Alright. Let's hope that uh, Hu Tao can at least do enough damage. Because, like, we can't do enough damage because... Of, unless, like, uh, yeah, we can't do enough damage because it'll just restart its um, activated phase. And we don't want that to happen. Alright, it's gotta be doing that attack. That's fine. Alright, burst. There we go. Alright, this is it. Yep. This is in the bag. There we go. Okay. Alright, we got our flowers, which is pretty good. We need those extra flowers. Alright, next. Okay, we got Jean. Cool, cool. We got Jean. Jean. Jean is pretty nice. Oh, more. More story. Spellbinding performance. Are you interested in learning any new thespian tricks? By which I mean dashing and elegant poses. In fact, what would you say to a friendly exchange? I'll teach you some thespian tricks in return for toy medals from the treasure chests. Friendship is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Ah, just the word itself gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling in my heart and my stomach. Oh, for the love of... Please don't tell Paimon you're thinking about emergency food again. We're talking about friendship here, okay? Paimon will never understand. 
understand why that's where your head goes. Anyway, are you sure you're okay with just toy medals? What could they be worth if they're just toys? As long as you believe, even toy medals can be more valuable than gold. That is the magic of imagination. Madam Mage told me that. I can't say I entirely understand what she meant, but... The thespian tricks, I actually got those from a wish I made to Madam Mage. So long as she thinks it's a fair trade, I think it should be fine. Hmm, sounds kind of ominous. Don't a lot of scary stories start out that way? You make a reckless wish to a wicked witch, but you end up regretting it when she forces you to pay an impossible price in return? I believe you're misunderstanding the situation, dear guest. There is absolutely nothing to fear. To start with, mages are quite different from wicked witches. And besides, I already told you what the price is. It's the toy medals. There's no catch. And you're sure about that? Yes, completely. In any case, I was the one who made the wish. So if someone has to end up paying an impossible price, just leave it to me. I enjoy watching your performances, so it's well worth it as far as I'm concerned. Hmm, I wonder how many blank pages are left in this book. Ah, but not to worry. Even if we run out of space, new blank pages will be added very soon. <sighs> I do look forward to the day when all empty pages are filled with stories. Alright, so I guess that's the reason why we have to um, do these challenges is to fill out the book. Alright, so of course I'm going to be cutting here again because we just um, experienced that. Oh, it looks like Chevrus is here too. Um, you know what? Uh, before we uh, do a cut, let's talk to Chevrus. She's just right here. We're going to rest and regroup? Good. A wise decision. There's no telling what awaits us next. It's crucial that we take every opportunity to recover our strength. You should go hydrate. I'll handle the weapon maintenance. Once I'm done, they'll be good as new. Ooh, new character voice lines. Pretty interesting. Oh, we got Hu Tao here. Oh! We're not in any hurry to get going, are we? Let's chill here for a bit. When the cat's away, the mice will play. And so they should, because it's only a matter of time before the cat gets back and gobbles all the mice up. So, like I said, no need to hurry. The mice will be there for us when we're ready. All right. Thank you, Ninian from Fire Emblem. Um, yeah, it looks like there's like a bunch of um, characters we can interact with, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we got Yaimiko, we got Chlorand. Yeah, it looks like um, if you use those teams, or if you use the characters on the teams, they just basically appear here, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, let's just talk to them. Actually, oh yeah, we forgot to collect this book. All right, yeah, let's just talk to him. I rarely encounter opportunities to rest mid-journey. During battle, slowing down is even more out of the question. However, given that this is not a solo operation, I will go along with what you think is best. In any case, this is an acceptable place for a brief period of respite. All right. Oh. I'm, I'm just surprised we're getting new dialogue now because as long as you use the characters, you're good. All right, let's let's look at Yaimiko. Do you think we'd ever see A in the outside world again if there were this many stories to read in her plane of euthymia? I, for one, rather doubt it. Hmm, I have an idea. Let's tell her that we know a wonderful little domain full of light novels and tricolor dango. It's high time she got out of Tenshukaku for a bit. Ah, yes, and dango milk, too. Hmm? They don't have it here. Well, don't look at me, little one. That's your job. Sort it out. Where there's a will, there's a way. All right. Okay, so uh, now we're going to be cutting. Um, we're going to be cutting to the next set of challenges. So I will be right back. And we're back. All right, let's do some more. Let's do some more Imaginarium Theater. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be doing a D. Oh, this is, this is this is crowd control, is it? All right, so we do have two choices we can choose from. So it's this Aramite. Okay, uh, remaining HP is not less than fifteen percent. Fifteen percent. Okay, weird. Um, this is just all. F 
uh, treasure hoarders. Okay, so they just throw bottles. Um, I'm pretty sure the Aramites might be the best call here. Um, we can't just use... You know what? Yeah, screw it. Let's get a random companion. Okay, yep. We're taking her. Definitely. Um, a random animal character. Alright, looks like we got supported. Ooh, crowd controllers. Yes, sir. We need more crowd controllers. Um, Sucrose, of course. Oh, and it looks like we can do uh, more of these. Okay, so seven enemies. Seven. Okay, so it's either we'd be seven robots, 15. Uh, I'm pretty sure they won't aggro towards the monolith, would they? The robots? I'm pretty sure they don't. And plus, we don't have to worry about them doing random crap like the, uh, the Fatui agent going invisible or, um, these guys doing their, um, persona things. Yeah, so we, we can't just go for this one, actually. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay. Um. Alright. Okay, so this is going to be very interesting. Uh. Let's do Wanderer. Let's give him a chance this time. Um. For sub DPS. I mean, we only have Yaimiko, so we we're forced to use her. Uh, Yaimiko. Sucrose. And far is on. I think this is this will be the team that we have to use. All right. So yeah. Okay. So the only challenge here is the monolith. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's fine. We're, we're basically have like infinite time. All right. Sucrose. All right. Let's do some normal attacks. Do some big damage. Yeah. This is going. To, this is easy. There we go. Alright, we're gonna have to de-aggro this guy. Let's do Faru. Do normals. Alright, so yeah. So some of the enemies do just hyper-focus on this thing. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Alright. Burst. Burst. Do some normals. Yeah, if only we had uh, Venti, that we could have done the Aramite floor, but we don't have Venti, so yeah, I think we're just forced to use these characters. Let's get the burst. Come on, Faru. Normals, normals, normals. We're gonna have to get him off of this thing. Burst. We don't want them to do a lot of damage to the Monolith. All right, we have um, two more enemies. Let's do Sucrose. Um, let's get Faru. Let's do E. All right. All right, let's do Faru. Uh, Yai Miko. And then let's do Wanderer. Okay, so yeah, so it looks like we did aggro them to us, which is pretty nice. All right, let's finish it off with the stomp. There we go. All right. Pretty nice, pretty nice. We got that first try. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, let's do the next performance. We got Fischl. Nice, nice. We got Fischl. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, let's do uh, more. Okay, elite enemies. Oh, boy. So we can't just... Uh, so there is boons. So it's this one. Okay, so it's like Spiral Abyss. We can just choose a random boon. Alright, let's see. What's this? Defeat 24 enemies. Defeat 8 ed opponents using Elemental Burst. Okay, so that's just Raiden. I can just use Raiden. Um, yeah, let's just... Let's do it. Let's do it, Raiden. Let's go. Alright, Raiden team. Okay, yeah. Raiden defeats a lot of enemies with her burst anyway, and that's her main damage source, is her burst, so we're gonna be going for her. Uh... I think... No, we're gonna be saving Bennett for later. Um... Fischl. 
Yeah. Let's go Fischl. Yoimiya. Yoimiya has a pretty good burst. Chev. Yeah, I think we're going to be have to waste Chev here on Act 5. Yeah, let's waste Chev. Alright, little Chev's going to be gone. Alright, let's do Yoimiya burst. We don't really need her for anything. Raiden's just going to be doing all the damage here. Alright. Burst damage. There we go. Alright, let's do uh, that. Let's do normals. Alright, we're gonna have to rely on basically Raiden to do all her damage. Yeah, so it looks like, yeah, uh, okay, yeah, I think we're good. We're good. I mean, Raiden's burst just defeats all the enemies anyway, which is pretty nice. Ow, that hurts. These guys love to move around a lot, though. I don't like that. And they do use that shield, which is pretty annoying. Alright. Let's do that. Let's do burst. Uh, shove, shove, shove. Uh, come on. Give me my burst. Nice. Alright, now we just have to defeat these enemies as fast as we can. We only have 40 seconds to do it, though. Alright. Official. Let's do Yoimiya. Get some of her normal attacks in. Alright. Right in. Maybe we should just use Bennett. Yeah, we only have 18 seconds. I don't think we're gonna make it. It's because of the it's the hill it's the meta trolls with their with their dumb their dumb shields. Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to optimally play here. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Um yeah, let's do this. This is fine. Alright, we're gonna have to use uh, Yoimiya here. Chev, burst, come on. Yeah, look at that, he just blocks it. I don't- I don't like that. He- he wastes a lot of time. Uh, official... Uh, Chev, Yoimiya. Let's do some normals. Ow, that hurt. Okay, nice. Alright. That's good. Uh, burst. Normals. Chev. And then burst. Alright, I guess he just has elemental resistance, I guess. Um, he's taking these hits like a champ. I think- I don't know if we have to pull out the Arlen Kino, though. I think we do have to pull out the- I don't know if we have to pull out the Arlen Kino. Hold on, let's restart performance. It's either that or we use a uh, burst heavy character, but I don't think we have any anymore. Okay, it's either we- I think we have to optimize on damage. It looks like we do have to optimize on damage, so let's just do that. Alright. Okay, we got our burst in, which is nice. So let's just uh, try to defeat these enemies as fast as possible. Alright, there we go. That was a pretty good spawn. Alright, let's uh... Oh! Burst. E. E. Burst. Alright. At least we're getting the attack boost from this. Burst. Um, let's get Bennett Q. E. Alright. And we're about to get Raiden's thing soon. So let's just get that. Alright. So far. So far. Good pace. Good pace. Burst. We're gonna have to repeat everything again. Burst. 
E. And then we're gonna be uh, using Raiden in a moment here. Burst. Nice. Good. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna lure him here. E. Alright, burst. We only have 30 seconds left, so we're gonna have to speed run through this. Alright, nice. Okay, one more enemy. And it looks like we can just defeat one of the hilly churls. So let's just do that. Let's burst it. There we go. Okay, we got the star. That's pretty good. Oop, ouch, that hurts. There we go. Easy, easy. Okay, let's do what next. Alright, we got Kazuha. Wow, that would have been great, you know, if we had Kazuha there. But uh, we had to improvise. Alright. Oh boy. Stage 6. Okay. Um, This is just the two Vishaps. Let's do... Let's try to get an animal character off of this. Okay, Venti. Like, we're gonna be needing that for um, other things. Zhongling. That's our only Pyro character. Interesting. Okay, so now we just can, now we just use these for buffs now. Let's just select a random buff, because why not? When I trigger... Oh, when a character triggers. Okay. This is just Bond of Life. So this is good for Arlen Kino. Um, after characters elemental skill, their crit rate for that character's normal attacks increased by 10% and crit damage increases by 20. So this is just, um, Yoimiya. This is a Yoimiya thing. Let's do, uh... Do we have an Electro Sub? I don't think we have an Electro Sub anymore. Um, let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Confirm. Okay, so what is our thing? Okay, so be hit by the Bathysmal Vishaps Herds cleansing shower less than four. Okay, so we just cannot get hit. Interesting. Um. Okay, we're gonna have to defeat these things as fast as we can. And there's only two acts left, so we're gonna be pulling out the Arlen Kino. Yeah, we're gonna be pulling out the Arlen Kino. Um, Fischl, of course. Um, we're going to be needing, like, big, big damage. So we're gonna be going for Kazuha. Bennett. Yeah, I think this'll be good. This'll be really, really good. Alright. We're gonna be doing as much damage as we can here. So let's just, uh, there we go. Let's do some normal attacks. All right, there we go. There's w there's one of them really low. Nice. Let's do burst so we can heal ourselves, and then reset our um, buff. Official. Let's do Kazuha. Bennett. We're gonna be hiding behind the Vishap. There we go. That's one of them down. So let's defeat the other one. There we go. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right. Nice. 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 All right. So we basically got everyone in the cast now, which is pretty nice. Okay. So now we only have two more to go, it looks like. Oh, no. Are you serious? These things? Are you serious? Okay, that's Mel. What is the, his conditions? Using charge attacks. Okay. And how much time do you get for 90 seconds? Okay, I think this will be way easier since we do have a bunch of pyro characters. Uh, let's try to go for that one. But first, we're going to be going for a buff. Um, elemental and physical damage bonus. Uh, tally vault. Okay, normal pyro damage. A shockwave that deals AoE pyro damage. I think this will be really good. Let's go for... Yeah, th this increases all of our elemental damage. Elemental skills. 
That's easy. Um... Yeah, let's just defeat one opponent. And how many enemies are there? It's just a bunch of robots. I think this will be doable. It's either this or we do this one. Which is also doable. Um... And triggering melt's gonna be easy because we have characters that do melt for us. Uh... And the last enemy is the, uh... Are the dancer, the dancing duo. And we are saving Arlen Kino for that. Uh. Sure, why not? Let's do this. Even though heralds are really annoying. But I'm pretty sure it's just all. We could just use a mono pyro team here. Or at least a somewhat mono pyro team. Alright, so we're gonna be doing this. Sucrose, of course. Jungling Jean. Yeah, this'll be good. Uh yeah. Okay. Let's do Jungling. Alright, four enemies. Yeah, this is not bad. We could just do normals. Yeah, this is not bad at all. We can do Sucrose here. Jean. Yeah, this is not bad. Okay, we're gonna have to bring both of them together. Sucrose, if I can get her out um, immediately. Nice. Alright. Let's do a normal attack. Out. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Chungling. We just have to get them to really low health. Uh, easier said than done. Jean. Jean with her clutch AoE heal. That hurts really bad. Alright, that's one of them down. Okay, we only have 20, 20 seconds left. Ow! Okay, never mind. I guess heralds are really hard. Um... Ouch, that hurts. Okay, let's do rewind performance. Rewind to act seven. Yeah, let's do confirm rewind. We only have one rewind, it looks like. Okay, continue. All right, so yeah, okay. So we can only rewind one time. Um, we are not doing that again. We're just gonna be going straight for the robots. But first we're gonna be going for a, let's see here. Oh, we get a mystery thing. Um, let's go for the buff first. Okay, swirl reaction. Sure. But I think this will just... Yeah, this just gives us energy back. Why not? Let's, go, let's grab that. Wondrous boon. Let's get another one. Of course, we're going to be taking this. Let's do a normal battle. Alright, yeah, this will be... This will be way more manageable. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this will be way more manageable than um, the robot. Or the uh, the herald floor. Uh, Alright, let's see here. Of course we're going to be going for Yoimiya. Because that will be our main DPS. Um, Yoimiya Sucrose. Zhongling Jin. Let's do... I think this will be good. Yeah, because I think Sucrose could just get the kill here. Alright, let's do Burst. Nice. Sucrose. Let's do Yoimiya. If one of them gets really low, we can just use a Burst. Yeah, there. Oh, we didn't get it, which is pretty bad. Let's get one of them really low. Nice. Oh, ouch, that hurts. Come on, can I get my elemental skill back? Alright, I think Globa's gonna kill them. So let's just let Globa do all the work. Nice. Alright, we did get our thing done, so that's good. Ouch. 
first. Elemental skill. Elemental skill again. Nice. Alright, now we're gonna have to try hard here because we only have 20 seconds left. Ow, oh, we're getting stunned really bad. 10 seconds! Can we do it? I don't think we can do it in 10 seconds. Burst! Yeah, we didn't get the star. Okay, yep. Restart performance. Because I don't know if we- I don't know if we could just use Raiden. I don't know, because this is the only characters we have left on the team. And we need Raiden for the last floor. Okay. Okay, I think... I think I know what to do. Uh... But we need the healer, though. But Sucrose's E is pretty strong. Okay, we're gonna be doing the same thing again. We're just gonna hope that one of these will kill. And then once they get really low, we can just use um, an elemental skill. E. Alright. Let's get both of them low. Okay. Sucrose. Nice. Okay, we got we got that. That's good. Alright. So now we have more time on the clock. E. Let's do Q. Nice. Alright, let's do normal attacks. Try to get them to die here. Alright. Nice. Burst. Cool. Cool, cool. And then now we just normal attack this guy to death. Nice. Okay, we did it. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, now we have one more stage. We have one more stage now. And then we are bi finally done with this. Okay. Continue performance. Okay. Um, yep, there's the boss. Okay, might as well spend all our flowers here. Why not? Okay. When an opponent's defeated, nope, that is useless. Uh, Bond of Life. Yes, we need that. Uh... Okay, so we get it enhanced. That's cool. Uh, let's do more boons. Mark opponents hit by elemental skills off field for six seconds. Marked an opponent with an attack. Physical damage. Physical damage. Okay. Uh, yes, we need this one. Alright. I think we can only do two more boons. Okay. Damage dealt by all part numbers is increased by 3%. Yes, sir. Um, no, actually, we'll do the, uh, we'll do Burning Passion. That one's really good. We have one more. Elemental Energy. Uh, 50% chance. Uh, let's do Lightning Focus. Alright, I think we're good. Alright. Alright, use a Usia attack. Oh no! To destroy the shield during the performance's climax. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is only for flowers. Um, we could just do the star challenges. So yeah, I guess... I guess doing the extra challenges will just give you more flowers. You don't have to do them. Okay. Because we don't have... We don't have characters that do Usia reactions. The only one that could basically do it was, uh, was Chevrus. Alright, uh, Arlen Kino, her, her, of course you. And for the final character, we are gonna be bringing you. Yeah. We're gonna be relying on, on Arlen Kino's burst for heals. Alright. Nice. Alright, we're gonna be using a lot of invincibility frames in this fight. Okay, we're gonna have to watch Arlen Kino's health, too. Alright, burst here to heal. Um, charge attack. Kazuha E. 
We're gonna have to switch them off soon. All right, burst. Burst to get uh them down. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, we did it. Nice, nice, nice. All right. All right, we got the tour summary. Oh, it's playing it like credits. Okay. Pretty cool. Highest damage. Yep, it's Raiden. <laughs> Raiden is the highest damage dealer. Okay. Alright, what's next? What's next? Okay, most opponents defeated, of course. I have to use her for um, domain or like... Okay, most damage... Okay, of course. I mean, she has, uh, she has damage resistance, so... Of course, she's not gonna die from that. Total characters appearing. 17. 17 characters. Teams that completed the performance the fastest. Okay, yeah, this the, of course, it's the team that I used to defeat the, the, ro the robot dancing duo. This, um, this, this event was kind of fun. Like, really fun. Um, there is a lot of, uh, Team comps you can use. Uh, it basically lets you think outside of the box, which is pretty nice. And look at that! Look at that! We got the star on all acts, all acts with all stars. Nice. All right. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. I will take that. Yeah, yeah. I will take that. Nice, nice. And it's complete. Of course, hard mode. <laughs> Nine minutes and two seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. All right, so that is basically it for um, Imaginary Theater. I'm pretty sure they're gonna give us a final, um, a final story. Oh, never mind. I guess not. Um, we can just talk to the uh, concierge. Thank you for your performance. Should you have any requests, I shall do my utmost to fulfill them. See you later. Okay. So we completed everything here. So let's claim our rewards. Look at that. Look at this. Beautiful. 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 So, uh, we got our performance tour reward. So, let's claim those. There we go. Nice, Sue. Nice. So, we did get toy medals, which we can use for emotes. And then we have our first time clears. Pretty nice. Um, this is only a one time thing. So, yeah. So, uh, enjoy your 1100 primos. Uh, pretty cool. All right, nice, nice, nice. All right, we're gonna be talking to Wolfie here to exchange our uh, tokens or emotes. All right, and we can use these for photo mode. Yes, sir, photo mode emotes. All right, okay, so we got Zhongling, upbeat, okay, upbeat encouragement, elegant counterance, okay. Ready for, oh, that one's cool, that one's cool, okay. Alright, this one's just, uh, royal pose. Oh, dandelion jean, okay. And ice pop, ice pop Changyun. Uh, of course, I'm gonna be getting this. This one's really good. Um, sure, why not? Let's get, uh, Changlings. Uh, see there, I mean, these are, I don't know about these two. These two are just generic, but dandelion or popsicle. Uh, let's do, you know what, let's do dandelion, why not? All right, there it is, there it is, um, yeah, just th there it is, there is Imaginarium Theater, which is pretty cool, I mean, that was a great, uh, that was a great endgame content, um, as for, like, for future, um, like, recordings of Imaginarium Theater, I'll probably do them unscripted, actually. Or probably I will just, um, I will just basically do a, a non-commentary run. And then afterwards, just like Spiral Bis, where I do the run first without any commentary. And then explain my run afterwards. So yeah, I'm probably just going to be doing that for Imaginarium Theater. I'm doing all stars. So yeah, all stars hard mode, of course. So yeah. Well, anyways, there is my first impressions on Imaginarium Theater, as well as the eight star clear, I guess I could just call it that, the 8-star clear, of um, Imaginative Theater Hard Mode. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. 
and be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to turn on notification bell to not miss out on a single upload that I do. Um, thank you guys so much for all the support. It really means a lot to me. You guys liking and subscribing really fuels my passion for making these videos. So again, thank you guys so much for supporting the content. It really means a lot to me. So yeah. Well, anyways, thank you guys for watching um, this video. And of course, comment down below. Um, what do you think about Imagine Dream Theater? You think it's easy? You think it's hard? Do you enjoy that we have some new endgame content or do you prefer something else? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, for reals this time, thank you guys for watching this Imaginarium Theater video. And I'll see you guys in the next Genshin video.